Maraming nagawa ang CLRG but basically on capacity building. Ang mga official natin sa local government ay kailangan na bigyan ng competency para mas mapayabong nila ang kaunlaran sa ating kanayunan. Malaki din ang reach niya in terms of the, the broad expanse of researches that it has undergone. Kaya masasabi natin isang tradisyon na ang CLRG uh, dito sa NCPAG. Dito sa Rizal Hall, nagsimula ang Local Government Research Project na isinagawa ng Institute of Public Administration noong 1963 to 1965. Noong 1965, isinagpatuloy ang Local Government Research Project sa pumamagitan ng pagkakatatag ng Local Government Center o LGC. Pinatatag ang LGC sa pamamagitan ng isang batas, ang Republic Act 4223. Dati, ito yung opisina ng local government center. Dito, dito sila mga tatlong kwarto ito nandito. Tapos yung kwarto ng mga staff at saka yung mga lecturers, nandun naman sa likod, pandang kaliwa. Doon makikita yung mga kwarto. 1965 to 1975, unang dekada ng LGC. Pinangunahan ni Dr. Raul P. De Guzman ang pagpapatakbo ng LGC. Unang dekada pa lang, marami ng kontribusyon ang LGC sa ating lipunan. Before Marcia Law, we already worked with the UP Law Center on the revision of the Constitution and our contribution was an article on local government in the Constitution. The other one would be the creation of the Department of Local Government and Community Development, which is now the Department of the Interior and Local Government. Now, yung selective decentralization as already explained is the provision of um, adequate powers according to the capability of local government units. If a, a local government is financially capable, then he should be given more powers. Um, the local government code provided that in terms of the highly urbanized city. Nineteen seventy-six to nineteen eighty-five, ang ikalawang dekada ng LGC. Ito ang huling mga taon ng panunungkulan ni dating pangulong Ferdinand Marcos na naglalayong palakasin pa at pagandahin ng pamahalaan sa pamamagitan ng mga local government units. Naging bahagi rin ang LGC ng 24th World Congress ng International Union of Local Authorities sa Maynila. Malaki ang naitulong ng LGC sa Integrated Reorganization Plan kung saan naitatag ang unang labing isang rehiyon ng Pilipinas. Dito sinimulan ang Local Resource Management Project na naglalayong palakasin ang fiscal administration ng mga lokal na pamahalaan. Nineteen eighty-six to nineteen ninety-five. Ito ang ikatlong dekada ng LGC. Mula pa de Faura, lumipat ang LGC dito sa gusali ng Commission on Human Rights sa UP Diliman. Ito ang panahon ng maraming pagbabago sa Pilipinas, na ibalik ang demokrasya at naisabatas ang Local Government Code of 1996 to 2005, ikaapat na dekada ng CLRG. Sa dekadang ito, hindi lang lokal na pamamahala ang naging focus ng LGC. Kasama na rin ang regional na pamamahala at interlocal cooperation. Kaya ang dating LGC 
ay tinawag na CLRG, Center for Local and Regional Governance. Mas malawak na kapangyarihan ang iginawad ng Local Government Code sa mga LGUs, kung saan ang mga best practices at innovations ay makikita na sa iba't ibang dako ng bansa. Dahil dito, nabuo ang Local Government Leadership Awards o LGLA, kung saan pinararangalan ang mga natatanging Local Government Leaders. From 2006 to 2015, ang pangkasalukuyan at ikalimang dekada ng CLRG. Kasabay ng mga panibagong trends at issues, patuloy na lumawak ang interes ng center. Sa dekadang ito, nabuo ang Federalism Studies, katuwang ang Institute of Federalism ng University of Freiburg, Switzerland. Nagkaroon ng four-year training para sa mga LJUs ng Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. Sinimulan din ang mga programa para sa National Movement of Young Legislators, Vice Mayor's League, Provincial Board Members League at mga barangay officials. Patuloy na nagiging responsive ang CLRG sa pagde-develop ng knowledge products at governance metrics, mga pag-aaral sa open government, open data, social media at environmental issues. For me, is a pool of experts and is a pool of colleagues and friends. It had really a great impact of all my work in the past 15 years in the field of decentralization. Thank you very much, CLRG, and happy birthday. So, ang impact niyan sa buhay ko is I became a specialist in local government, and uh, even if I branched into some areas like planning and gender, I think that, I would think that the core discipline among all that would be local government, which has helped me really professionally. It made me grow uh, in terms of actual knowledge of local government operations and local politics and local politicians, I would also say, and administrators. For me, no, CLRG is professionally rewarding and fulfilling, challenging and also fun. Uh, fulfilling in the sense na homegrown talent ako. I started here, uh, assistant ng sa research, sa training, and I started until I inched my way up. Challenging then in the sense na pagdating mo sa field, doon mo nakikita na ano pa lang series that you know have to be complemented by the practical aspects that LGUs are doing because that's what they consider as relevant to them, no? practical to them. CLRG eh, equates to knowledge. Uh, CLRG is one of NMYL's long-time long partners. Uh, the lessons they learned from CLRG help them to um, fulfill their duties and responsibilities in their respective local governments. In 2008, the, ch the name of the NMYL program with CLRG evolved from CYLL, it is now called the Legislative Skills Enhancement Training on Local Legislation. CLRG, magbuhay po tayo. I think, you know, like I said, we should not rest on our laurels. We should continue working hard. But it's really important. Let's look back upon whose shoulders we stood on. You know? Our accomplishments are not our accomplishments. These are collective accomplishments of Team CLRG. I hope uh, we have a successful run mm -hmm. with the lecture series. Dapat parang it should be looked upon as a, another uh, starting point, a new beginning. What about the next 50 years? Uh, looking ahead, that dapat uh, develop na kayo ng road map. Keep up the good work. I know. Uh, say large you will be. Say large you will be. Not together forever, but unless Congress will abolish the center, but as long as LGC exists, 
as a statutory uh, institution, Hanjang Gayo. I know that uh, CLRG is uh, composed of very knowledgeable, very competent uh, staff. And I hope you will continue to give support to the colleagues. And of course, I hope that you will also become part in the formulation of policies, national government policies. So, naging bahagi kami nung isang proyekto ng pagpapromote ng integrity and accountability. Um, ang, ang naging bahagi namin ay at ang naging hamon namin ay kung paano namin i-reinvent -re yung uh, integrity indicators para maging uh, applicable sa local government. CLRG for me is an exciting challenge. It's, it's, it brings me as close to government as I can, even though Alam mong diverse yung iba't ibang klase, iba't ibang local government units. You, you see how it can work and you also realize how diverse the challenges are. So, CLRG for me has made me realize na marami pang kailangan gawin. I mean, we, we've been here 50 years pero the, the, the challenges remain. I mean, it's ever, never, never ending. Uh, but at the same time, it makes me realize how much we can make a difference in the life of our country. Moving forward, I see CLRG uh, going into other things different from the past. I mean, it's not like it's not like local government is is static. Like in the area, of course, Bank Samoro will be there. The environment is constantly changing. Tapos, uh, the other thing is, of course, uh, digital media or information communication technology. So, those are three things that has changed Suguro, since 50 years ago, and those are things that uh, local governments are, are starting to grapple with. So, climate change, a digital government, and of course, the banks are more. Fifty years of pioneering research, innovating solutions, and promoting autonomy. CLRG at 50.